Michael is the rainy night in Soho by the Pogues. Put your capo on the third fret. This is how I play it. I don't know how they play it. All right, so um, I like the beginning because you start with three different A shapes. I think that's cool. Um, so with your capo on the third fret, you put your middle finger on that 13th fret there, and then your 12th fret above that, 14th fret above that. And then you go down to um, the F shape, which is 8, 9, and 10th fret. And then you go down to just an open A chord. And then you've got that da da da, which I write. Um, you go back to the F shape. So um, they're the three notes. Da da da. But if you're playing that open F shape, you can just put your little finger down on that um, <clears throat> tenth fret. And then you are, uh, yeah. Go to your D chord, D suspended second. Now notice I'm playing the D suspended second with my first finger and my second finger. I don't normally play it like that, but in this song I do, and I'll show you why later. There's like many reasons why. Um, so let's go over that intro. So the next bit, da 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 da. On that down that D, second fret, fourth fret, on that G string, and then I take my middle finger off, play the second fret. Oops. Sounds a bit discordant, but that's okay because this is a passing chord. If you want, you can go two, four, six. It's up to you. Then E. You play that E suspended four for a sec, which is just zero, two, two, two. And then you do it again. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, two, three. So I write otherwise. Hey. Down all the years, down all the days. And I've cried for all of your troubles. Smile at your funny little ways. And it keeps going the same, same, same until. Um, the second, the, uh, the the end of the second verse. Some of them fell into heaven. Some of them fell into hell. Some of them fell into hell. E sus four E. One two one two. Yeah. Anyway, uh, then it goes back to normal at the end of the third verse. Uh, end of the beginning of the fourth verse. I sang you all my sorrows. I love that. Da, da. And the best way I could find that was to stick it around the E chord up here at the 10th fret. 10, oh, it's a C shape. 10, 9, 7, 8. Open. So what you do is you get your middle finger, put it down a fret. Uh, string, sorry, let's put it down a string. You got that kind of sound. Then put it back up to the normal 
fret where it's split the middle finger back up to the normal fret. It's not always easy to get to that, so you've got to practice it. Um, that's the whole song. I don't have to play the whole thing for you. Um, that's the intro riff. That's all the little parts that I like to throw in. Um, and I've written all that on the chord chart. So I uh, hope that helps you.